if it was... Yeah, uh, in the press conference, well, let me just introduce the press conference to you guys. So this is the uh, 2019 quarter four press conference, and if you guys aren't familiar with what quarters mean, it's just one-fourth of the year. So, like, this quarter is um, October 1st to December 31st, October, November, and December. So we're going to be covering that as well as some of early next year. So this is just the press conference taking place in the fourth quarter. Um, but as for um, what I'm going to be covering today, I'm going to be covering some beta info, like basically what's going to be happening for the rest of the beta. Um, for release, info about for release, introducing it to a lot of you who don't know about it. Um, and some uh, cool new features you guys might already know about. So, um, the rest of the year, 2019, is all going to be beta. I think that that's obvious. The rest of the year is basically going to be beta. So, full release is not coming out 2019. I mean, I think I've already stated that before to some people, but now it's publicly announced. So, and then basically, as for the um, the rest of this year, I'll put I'll put this up on the screen here for you guys. Uh, is the roadmap a cute little graphic? Uh, so starting off in October here, we have of course Spookfest. It's a cool event, you know. Uh, it's happening soon. But beside that, um, Burning Fear will be coming back with that. Uh, I'll talk about Burning Fear a little bit later. Uh, no. It's not going to be the same event as last time. It's going to be higher quality this year. Uh, there's going to be some changes to spawn. You guys might have already seen the texture pack. Uh, I can actually show you guys that here. Actually, no, I won't at the moment. But uh, texture pack. I did some cool textures for this one uh, this time around. And uh, how strong you got to be for the event? Probably about mid-range player. So you don't need to like max out or anything for the event. But... Uh, and as for Burning Fear's difficulty, Burning Fear is going to be buffed. It's not going to be the second weakest form anymore. It will be probably... I want it to be about in between God and Berserk. That's also how difficult it's going to be. The f difficulty for it... It will have three warps. So, uh, three warps. And it will be... It will be available for two weeks. You'll be able to farm it for two weeks once the event starts. So, limited time, of course. Uh, also, you know, donor rank, that's coming back, the spook donor rank. Uh, that one's obvious. Spook keys will be re-added to the shop. Uh, just so you guys know, the spook donor rank is not, any limited time rank, I've decided, will not be available via points. But, however, keys will be. So you can still buy the spook keys, and they're also going to be given. Uh, a lot of stuff from previous events, like, you know, hourly keys will still occur in Spookfest here, as well as any other event. We'll be giving you guys free stuff. We'll be running giveaways, all that stuff. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, by the way, Frankie. Appreciate it. Um, but, oh, wait, let me put a little pumpkin. You, but, so, uh, Burning Fear actually has some changes, but I'm going to cover this later down the line when I talk about custom forms. Because you guys may or may not know about the changes to custom forms occurring very soon. Today, happening changes. Um, Yes. Talk about this later. Uh, so, as for uh, moving to November, yeah, I think, yeah, we're good. We're good with, uh, so that's about it for October. You know, some cool stuff. I'll talk about some of the more changes in October later. I'm going to leave that for a different segment. But uh, next up in November, we have Thanksgiving. It's called Thanksgiving on purpose, by the way. You guys know. But uh, with Thanksgiving, it's going to be uh, it's something cool coming with this, right? So, as well as a bunch of content, as always, like, you know, it's, it's an event. Thanksgiving will be happening. A Black Friday sale, short but big sale. Um, that'll be the best time to buy your ranks. You want to wait until then or whatever. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do an exclusive Thanksgiving event. Or, sorry, Thanksgiving rank. Um, kind of in between on it. However, um, one thing that will be coming, this is good news for a lot of you guys, Majin and Demon Rice are going to be introduced in Thanksgiving. So, yes, Majin and Demon. Uh, the races, we're going to cover a little bit later in the stream. 
but like basically the races are gonna be like it'll be their own standalone races they'll be able to use all of the universal like they'll be able to use ui mui all all you know every form any other race can use they will have their own exclusive forms as they're a race that would just make sense as well as yeah but so these are about month or two out depending on when thanksgiving form runs uh there would be no custom form for thanksgiving because um something i'll mention in a little bit i limit thanksgiving is not quite a big enough event thanksgiving is kind of a stepping stone between spookfest and jolly because spookfest and jolly are like our biggest events next to the two-year anniversary I'll talk about that after I talk about December because the two-year anniversary this year is not going to be taking place in December because I want to do an actual event for it and do some cool stuff. Um, yes, Hercule, they will have their own custom forms. But the thing with custom forms, we're trying to make them more like normal forms. So custom forms is going to feel less like custom forms here soon, uh, if that makes any sense, I guess. Because custom forms have always really been like... They've always been additions, you know, they don't do much. They're just, you just shift into them, get some potion effects. And the new, um, the new custom forms are, um, basically, custom forms, I'm going to mention this now, I guess, but custom forms are going to be getting a change. So, as in previous times where custom forms would shift into them and shit, um, I'll show you guys actually here now. So, basically, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff... I got to I got to update this to show you guys. So give me a moment for that. But uh essentially some of the some of the main changes here are uh so a lot they're a lot more visual and they feel more like actual forms whereas in the past uh you know it would just like you get some potion effects and all that. Whereas now um your key bar I'll show you guys. It's easier if I show you guys. Let me just boot up the mod pack for you guys. Heck. And you guys may or may not know that uh, Cosmic is the one developing now for us with custom forms as well as a whole lot of other stuff. So Sandwich is effectively no longer developer. because Just due to time constraints with him, he's decided to step away. It's for the best of both of us. We custom those custom effects. Uh, no, we've actually removed the custom effects because uh, they were causing lag and whatnot. No. Also, cool thing to notice, sandwich forms were a large cause of the lag, meaning um, now that we use sandwich forms, they are called Apollo forms because he's creating them. Also, these are not, these are higher level of Cosmic's forms. We're not using the same stuff everyone gets. Cosmic has specifically made these forms with better features than other servers. So any other server he develops on will be getting like, or he pretty much won't be developing on many other servers at the moment with the exception of a few that I've kind of agreed with, because you know, there's a lot of servers that take advantage of the whole custom form thing and kind of abuse it. Uh, so I'm trying to show you guys this on stream, but currently there's some, we're still trying to fix some of the uh, bugs going into this. But as for when you can expect custom forms to be revamped or like reintroduced today, um... So, like, right after the maintenance is over, that's why there's a maintenance right now, your yeah, Spookfest will be starting. Uh, the custom forms will be introduced. i like to point out one thing with Spookfest. It's not all going to be at once. Um, Spookfest will be rolling out early so that everyone has time to get Burning Fear. So you'll be able to get Burning Fear. Um, and also, yeah, I'd like to point out, we're never going to sell custom forms. It's never going to happen. The closest you'll ever get is some of the fragments or sorry shards in crates that's all that's the closest uh and yeah event badges i mentioned this a couple days ago uh event badges are going to exist they will be introduced later in the event probably throughout the next week we'll be introducing like we'll be doing the maze again because that was fun uh a bunch of stuff like that stuff you guys can uh it'll, it'll all be announced nothing you know i'm not just going to add something and not talk about it uh, yes, you could use the spook shards from last year. They are still relevant. Custom forms have mystic. Um, I'll let I'll let you ask Cosmic because Co I'm gonna let Cosmic talk here soon about his changes. Um, 
but one of the main things I'll show you guys, I'm kind of, sorry about that. So, um, I'm just going to, I'm, I kind of, I kind of started talking about, uh, more of this, um, I, I started talking too much about this. I'm going to move, I'm going to finish off this roadmap and then we could talk more about it in a minute here. But, uh, you know, Jolly, Jolly's obvious. Whoops, messed up the graphic a little bit there. It's cool though. Um, I'll to pillar. I'll cover that here in a moment. Uh, I'll cover any SC questions here in a minute, guys. You, you guys are not losing the full SC forms. They are transferring to the new stuff. Cosmic's working on that at the moment. Um, you're not, you're not going to just lose your forms. Obviously, that'd be stupid. Um, but Jolly, Jolly would be cool. It's the biggest event of the year. Well, it's the biggest event of 2019 because we didn't really do a anniversary this year. Uh, you know, Jolly's cool. We're going to be doing a limited time form for Jolly this year around. So you'll be getting a Jolly form, basically. That's cool. It should have happened last year, but, you know, stuff. I'll probably be one of the better forms. I already talked about difficulty for a spook form, or, sorry, burning fear. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, does this work? Let me see if I can show you all this. Boss events? Yeah, boss events will be coming back. Most notably in... Um, I think we want to bring boss events back around the probably spook fest is when I want to first off introduce them. Uh, but one thing I could show you guys now. Wait, am I? I'm so confused. I'm gonna work on some bugs with this right now because I'm trying to show you guys in game what running. I could show you actually. I'll just show you guys here. Uh, so this is this is what burning fear looks like at the moment. Yeah, spooky Hakai. Oh, what's wrong, but this one. So Hakai is a key blast. This is for God too. But Spooky has or Burning Fear has its own Hakai. That's cool. Uh, as you guys can see up here, there's a status effect. The key bar is orange. A lot of this stuff came through Cosmic developing and me just mentioning it. Because Cosmic's really good at um you know, working on the ideas. And there's also like some cool stuff. Um let me rebind that right quick. So, uh, in the vMenu, you guys can see this is different. We're currently working on converting the vMenu, and forms will show in the menu. So, uh, but I'm currently glitched into Burning Fear at the moment, so that's why it's not showing. Uh, actually, let me reset my player data and show you guys. So, basically, whenever you're in a form, it will show in the menu as if it's a normal Dragon Ball form, as well as they will be listed in the same menu. Just a lot of the stuff that's, um, a lot of the stuff that really divides custom forms and normal forms is going to be merging here. So, because, you know, you still stack. Uh, oh yeah, show the ore, I got you. The ores are really, really pretty now. All of these stats will be available on the sheet once we figure them out. Um... Right here, one minute. Let me reset my keybinds. Cosmics tell me to do that. Oh, there we go. Now I can shift out of it. So, as for right now, the selection for custom forms is done like this. You cycle through them. Um, so I believe, and you hold page up to transform. No more double shift. So, and you know, it looks looks pretty. All the forms. Uh, it's on the showcase server. Also, talking about the showcase server, it's a little bit. I'm I'm kind of all over the place, but um. Oh yeah, also BP shows. Um actually I could show you now. It changes in the menu, shows you an MUI. Um Tamashi SC abilities are being transferred to Cosmic. And yeah, the new texture pack, this is the spook texture pack I'm running right now. I'll show you guys. Uh, oh, whoops, I forgot the menu is messed up at the moment. But you guys can see the background. I put, uh, put a few hours of work into this. Um, yeah, but it's, this has been like three months in the making. I've been working with Cosmic on this. And I, I stated this earlier, I'll say it again. Nobody else, with the exception of like one or two servers, will be getting this level of quality. Um, so, you know, for a while we had the same quality of SC forms. We now have better S, or sorry, custom forms. It's habit to call it SC. We now have custom forms better than any other server with better implementations. Because what happens is I'll be working with Cosmic. I'll be like, yo, like, let me tell you guys. A few days ago, I was like, yo, Cosmic, can you, like, 
color the key bar and make it orange for Spooky. He's like, no, I can't. And I'm like, can you try? He tries, figures it out, and here we are. Uh, yeah, Rage. Let me show you guys Rage. Uh, Rage will be added shortly. Uh, it's not Super Saiyan Rage. It's, it's going to be for all the forms. Also, a cool little key bar thing, right? You know, key bar looks cute. Uh, the aura looks dope. But, so Rage is going to be, uh, Rage will probably be added around the, around next month, November time. Um, there's a lot of content we have for you guys coming. Uh, Rage hasn't been scaled yet. We're still going to scale Rage. Ra don't expect Rage to, uh, oh yeah, the tail goes, it's, the tail going blue is a glitch right now. Um, but, some of the stuff that we have coming for you guys, we're going to be kind of drip feeding you guys content, because... Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be weaker than Berserk, though. Oh, let me show you guys something cool about Berserk. Uh, he needs to make this smaller. But Berserk actually makes you big, fella. I was like, I don't know if you're in the stream or not, but can you make Berserk a little bit smaller? It's a little bit too big. But there's a whole lot of stuff that Cosmic has done here to make these forms feel way more like... Like, the, at this point, the forms, custom forms, are cooler than actual forms, because... You just can't compare the two at this point for me because one is, like, the custom forms have so much more than normal forms at the current point. And I'm very happy because it, whenever Cosmic showed me the first build of the custom forms, it made me so excited because, well, obviously, like, we had the same quality of custom forms. And just on top of that, you know, obviously, Cos oh, you guys can see Spawn a little bit right now. Um, Cosmic also walks very quick. Oh, these are the new, uh, also, uh, forms are gonna be different colors at the moment. They're gonna be these items here. Different variations of this. Uh, this is what the item, the RPG items that will give you them will look like. Uh, and just to clarify, no, there's not gonna be 18 forms. This is just every color. We're not, we're not gonna be, tr we're not gonna be adding that many forms. We still only have, like, eight. And if you count Limit Breaker. Actually, we have, we have seven, not counting Rage and Evolution. Also, Evolution's going to be coming back. Uh, we're removing Jin's Shinka. Because uh, it's stupid. Evolution's better. Yes. Um, but also, I'd like to touch on... Well, actually, no, I won't touch on that. But, uh, yeah. What the fuck is my skin? Wrong holiday. It's cool. I'm not gonna touch on it. I'm not gonna touch on anything you asked me to touch on, dog. Uh, but, so, oh, also something, I'm gonna let Cosmic talk about some of the major changes made because there's some differences, um, for, with some of these forms. I'll show you guys the Hakai right quick, actually. It's a key blast now. So there's a whole... There's a lot, really. Uh, you guys notice there's a different key bar now. We decided to overwrite that. But you no longer right-click. Uh, you just kind of... Oh, what is the... Oh, just semicolon. You just kind of press semicolon. Now you have Hakai. Yeah, there's a cooldown for it, too. Um, I mentioned earlier, uh, you can't... Uh, what is it? I'm trying to trying to brain here, fellas. I had notes, but I've gone completely off the notes. Kai buff. Yeah, I, th I believe there's a Kai buff. We we still have to do some scaling because Cosmic has not had the chance to do it on the server. He only had a test server to work on. What's the TPS, bro? Uh, <laughs> the lag has been significantly increased due to a whole lot of stuff that I've changed in the recent times. But uh, I'll show you guys all the forms on the on the uh, on the stream here soon. But uh, one cool thing I was talking about this earlier: showcase server. Uh, anyone who has access to the showcase server, once that comes back up, you will be able to play with all the forms on there. You'll be able to do whatever you want. Test dummies will be there. You'll be able to you know just dick around in the custom forms and have fun with that. So I'm gonna move into full release here in a minute. But I want to talk about the two year anniversary that will be taking place around mid January. Um, so, two anniversary will be a little bit after Jolly ends, 
Uh, there'll be a lot of cool stuff coming with that. I'd prefer to not touch on that to keep it more of a surprise, but it may be mentioned because, uh, you know, I want you guys to know what's in store for you the next few months. Uh, now I have a huge section about for release, which is probably going to take like 30 minutes. Uh, custom form is more viable for PvP. E I don't know. I'll let Cosmic cover. Cosmic, can you cover on this? Because he's going to be talk. I'm actually going to let him talk now before I do the for release segment. So, uh, other races? Yes. We're going to add more forms for other races. We intend to add a human, Namekian, and what is it? I think it's just human and Namekian form. So, we intend to add more forms to make those a little bit more balanced because at the moment they're kind of disadvantaged obviously um let me give myself all the forms right quick so i can show you guys that put this back on the screen while i give myself the forms let it be double xp what do you mean double xp dog uh oh yeah more on spookfest while i'm doing this um we do intend to have normal tp multiplier store sale you know the normal stuff we always do with events uh i'll give you guys more info about spookfest a little bit later however uh there you go so i'm gonna go through all of the forms so next up we have kaioken cosmic's gonna mention stuff about this later uh but the aura looks pretty neat i'm gonna set time day for you guys uh yeah okay so that um Next up, we have... I showed you guys MUI. God. Oh, fuck. I didn't give myself the forms. Yo, my brain. Oh, let me go on the other server, because I have them all there. There we go. Okay, next up... Uh, so, you guys already saw this one. Vegeta, PM me or IGN, I got you. Uh, but you got this one. Uh, Cosmic's gonna make this one a little bit smaller in the next update. <laughs> a little bit too large. Just because it makes it weird to play in that. Um, S. Kaya with normal forms. Cosmic, add that to your list to talk about. Um. <laughs> yes. Okay, Mystic. I don't think, I think Mystic. Mystic's or at the moment. Mystic was not completed. Um, this is one of the ones he didn't get to cover, but it has all the basic stuff. I'd also like to point out that the, uh, multipliers shown in the, uh, menu are not accurate. Because you can't, like, accurately scale them. We will be changing it to be a more, like, more relative number to what it would be. But, uh, yeah, Mystic, Mystic's not complete, so don't worry about that one. A Rage is, of course, the best looking form. Because it has two auras. Uh, actually, let me show you guys something cool. You have legendary key. And also if you have divine, inside goes purple. So if you have both, so, you know, that's pretty neat. Uh, as for, I think I already mentioned it. Rage will probably be coming out. Actually, no, I didn't mention it. It'll be Expect Rage around next month. Um, probably like probably with Thanksgiving, depending on the content. I'm gonna talk more about the custom forms now. Uh, not not info, just like how they'll be releasing, basically stuff that I can talk about, not the features and stuff. So with Thanksgiving, you know, Majin Demon, as seen on the roadmap. Um, Majin Demon will of course be coming out around Thanksgiving. Uh, they'll be having all their own forms and stuff, as well as being able to use other custom forms. But, one important thing is how they'll be released. Because some people, like, they have been available for pre-order since February 2018. And basically, if you pre-ordered it, you'll be getting it, uh, I don't know about immediately, but I'm currently thinking about ways to implement it that it's fair for everyone who pre-ordered it and waited nearly, nearly two years at this point getting to the two year a little bit off but you know close enough but uh without just giving because i don't want to just give them the 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 race but depending on how it because you guys one thing you guys gotta mention uh or think about 
whenever we created the races, they were never intended to be custom races. At the time, they were way smaller scale. And since then, they've grown in scale. But uh, they will, just so you guys know, they will be available for everyone to get. But it may be easier for those who pre-ordered it. Uh, races will be able to use, they, races will have their own forms as well as be able to use MUI, SKIO, God, any of the custom forms that, um, any of that. But I'd like to point out one thing, Rage is a, it's not Super Saiyan Rage, well, I mean, you can call the Saiyan one Super Saiyan, but, um, it, it'll be for all of the, it'll be for all of the races, so it will just be Rage, is what I decided that, I renamed the, uh, Fragments, or Shards and stuff, actually. I don't know why there's two, but hey, it's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, you see in the menu and stuff, Cosmic, you should change that to bright blue, by the way. Uh, so, what else do we have to cover? I think I'm gonna let Cosmic talk about some of the stuff, because there's a lot he could talk about. Uh, Cosmic, are you ready? I'm gonna undeafen so you, they can hear you. Yeah, let's go, wait, let's go into a private real quick. 120k levels. Oh, he's been... Oh, I don't know. He just added, like, two more levels. So it's 120k right, so... now. Go ahead. I do my part? Yes, sir. Alright, so... I'm sure you've all have already seen that there's new keybinds. Pretty sure Lil showed that off. So I'll go more in-depth through them. So, look, when you, you already saw that. There's racial skills, which we are going to implement later... Each race will be getting their own unique one. You get that by pretty much completing the game with that race. <laughs> for the ability, that's used for the Hakai, the Spooky Hakai, and like Insta Vanish for MUI, which I'm not sure you went over. <laughs> so, yeah. You said what? The Insta Vanish. What is that? Oh, dodging? Oh, hold up. Oh, you is can it... also show them dodging too. Hey man, you didn't tell me about that. I I did when I first made them. All right. <laughs> so insta vanish just pretty much makes you in invisible for a bit. So like, if you're in a tough situation, like in an actual PvP fight, this make me you skinnier. Can just... Uh, no, not yet. But since the berserk test worked, uh, all custom forms will be getting either a buff to the player or slim down the player model. Which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we've implemented a lot of new items to get things, um, like the auras, and a lot of unused things for right now, like the Patara earrings. I'm sure, you've all have already seen those. Uh, I'm not really going to get too in depth on that because that's for a later date, unless you want me to, low. What's up? But you said you said Patara. Listen to a word you're saying, you're Patara. Now don't talk about don't. that. All right. Talk about it later. A few weeks. And you kind of already like spoiled everything I wanted to say about races. Adam. So. Yeah. <laughs> talk Just... about some of the uh, menu changes. Oh yeah! Whenever you press uh, the X menu. I've added color and fixed some text and dialogue for I just try to double uh, shift in my form. Talk about it. That's very smart. All right. So, you have cow can in red, super form in yellow. If you're a sand and you have a tail, it has tail mode in brown. Potential unleash in uh cyan or not cyan. Just a dark blue. Also, I'd like to point out we're going to be uh, we will not be keeping the current, uh, this menu we have to toggle through. We're going to be making it, uh, in one of these menus here down the line. Yeah. Might be coming fairly soon. Just wait and see. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that we had to put to the side for this because there's quite a few, uh, additions we wanted to make, but didn't get a chance to due to the time constraints. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a bunch of cool visual as well as functions coming. Oh, also, if you press V and you click the up arrow, you can go into Jin's menu, as we haven't been able to incorporate all of them yet. 
Yeah, they will eventually all be in our menus, though. Yeah. There's only a few so, of them missing. To access skills and key techniques, you just need to go there. So, to close this off, I'm just really happy to be a part of the team. And I hope that you all will enjoy everything I've added. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Do I answer some questions now? I'll tell you if you can answer them. Ask him questions, guys, and I'll give him the go-ahead. Because him being my unpaid walker, I get to decide what he answers. That's a joke. He gets paid. Mm-hmm. Are you yes? Are you yes, Cosmic? I, <laughs> I do believe I am yes. Are they able to stack DBC, uh, DBC Mystic? I like how three people said that. All right. Um... A DVC Mystic will no longer be stackable with forms, but they aren't going to need it, basically. Hey, Lex, it doesn't work in single player because it's only server sided, so people can't steal our custom forms. Yeah, if you try and like rip the code and just put them on somewhere else without the server, it's not going to work. So don't try it. It's going to give you errors. You're going to be confused. It's not worth it. I'd also like to give a shout out to my parents who I know that are watching the stream right now. So I you just say hi mom. Hi mom. You're, you're hi, with the hi mom dog. <laughs> yeah, you already know. My parents I don't see watching a whole this. Tango. <laughs> um after a certain yeah, um they're, I, they're already on the main server, and they're also already in your client. Uh, I think I'll upload that's... six DPs here shortly. Yeah, that's not something I can really answer. Okay, so I think you're good for the moment. I think I'm going to hop into... Uh, I think I'm going to begin talking about... Uh... Oh, well, let me just state this. Cosmic's a developer now, guys. He's going to be doing a lot for the server. He is a main driving factor for our releases quality. Um, yes. Post-game content, like after max level and MUI, yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of that. Uh, you already addressed what happened to Sandwich, right? Sandwich didn't have enough time to walk on the server, so we both agreed that it was best for him to step down. About it. Yeah, so Lil has to retract his statement that he made uh, eight months ago on saying that he doesn't eat galaxies, he eats sandwiches. Sorry, Lil. I hate you. This entire chat is just a meme right now. Yes, in fact, it is. So, uh, I'm going to move on to for release. Stuff about for Ooh. release. Uh, I have an essay that I wrote last night. How, how many words is this? We're looking at about a thousand words, this whole thing. Do I stay in here just to, like, say something if needed? No. Well, I'm just going to, I deafened on stream. I'm going to deafen in here so I can't hear you. Okay, so uh, you guys may or may not know what for release is. Uh, I'll give you guys a brief explanation. Um, let me find it here. So, for release is going to be the 1.0 of the server, right? You know? There's a lot of people who don't know Tango. Right, a few. You don't even know everything, dog. You literally just know the name. So for release is uh, 1.0. It's the uh, 1.0. We are currently in 0 0.97, 0 0.98 after the custom form is custom forms are introduced. Uh, for some background on it, uh, ever since I've been running any Dragon Block server since like back in 2015, uh, 
it has always been my goal to create what Fro release is going to become. Uh, now I'm finally in a position, though, because, like, financially, uh, with the team, you know, all of the developers, builders, staff, and everything we have at the moment, um, most people like anime who aren't directly working on it, but, are, well, are contributing heavily. And, no, I'm not too worried about being the objectively best server. I'm just putting my best foot forward to, you know, create an experience. What it's going to become for release will be an... What did I write it? Oh, it's going to become an open-world MMORPG. So, basically, you'll be able to... Uh, actually, I'll, let, me finish, let me finish introducing you guys to the idea for release. For release has been an idea back since August 2018. Right. Um... But throughout that, uh, it has grown massively. Like, let me give you guys an example. At the beginning, for release was intended to just literally be a revamp. But since then, it has become a overhaul of everything, you know. And it it literally went from like it it was never intended to be open world for release, and it was we were never gonna have three D models like we have now. So many things that came along the way, we were never gonna have. Cosmic is a developer. He recently came along. Um, but, so, you know, it's going to be an open world MMORPG. That's a huge thing about this update for, for release. And I'm going to be covering the release date towards the end of uh, this, con this little conversation here. Um, so, you'll be able to explore the entire Dragon Ball world, like the entire map, the entire Earth map. Uh, so, you know, all the locations, all of that, um, you'll be able to, you know, experience the storyline all the way up from when Goku was a little kid in Dragon Ball to where he is now. Uh, you know, he unlocked his plot armor V5 form. Amazing. MUI, it's great. But, you know, you're, you'll have Dragon Ball all the way up to Super. I'm going to cover s stuff like GT here in a little bit. Yeah, Dragon Ball content is going to be a big part of it. Um... I don't know, does Vegeta want to talk? I don't think he does, okay. So, one of the cool things. Questing? Oh, actually, no, no, I'm going to, you guys have seen the 3D models. Uh, I'll put those on screen here for you, actually. You guys can see some of them. Uh, and uh, you guys have probably seen them before on Anime's channel. Actually, I'm not going to. You guys can go check Anime's channel. Anime Waifu Haven is what it's called. It's up in the top segment of the Discord. Um... And yeah, the main story is nearly completed. We've been working on the story since, like, April. Uh, so, you know, the entire, like, storyline is almost done. All we gotta do is make it in the map, and the map is being created right now. Uh, I've invested a lot of money into build an actual build team working on the map. So, to save time for the rest of the team to actually be able to work on content rather than having to build um so i want to tell you a little bit about questing it's important that the questing is you know fleshed out balanced scaled and calculated gameplay um so it's going to be a lot more it'll make a lot more like sense and you'll be able to go through the story without having to like because right now it's just there is not much scaling done with the story as you guys can tell so we're going to put a lot of effort into making sure that it's um, scaled properly to how we want it to be scaled. So when you're going from, like, the Saiyan Saga to Namek Saga, Frieza Saga, whatever, you won't be able to just... Uh, you'll have to, like, do some training in between. I'm going to cover training here in a minute in Far Release, but um, you're, you'll have to stop and, like, get stronger throughout. So, you know, you won't just be able to jump to the next stage. Uh, you know, you have to take a break, train, so stop at some other roses. Yes, yeah, st stop and enjoy the server, because there's going to be, uh, just for a number of quests, there's going to be a couple hundred quests. So more than there is now, but, you know, there'll be dialogue quests, location quests, collection quests. It's not just all going to be kill this NPC. And we want, we're putting a lot of effort, we, or we have put a lot of effort into actually making sure that it's, um... You know, making sure that there's more than uh, what there is now to the story, because the story right now is really boring. Um, you know, oh, the story right now is lame. Oh, Dragon Ball animation. What? 
Oh, uh, full dragon animations. Wait, okay, so I'm gonna move on to stuff like side quests, right? So what you'll be doing in between main stories would be side quests, um, like random quests. You you unlock a lot of stuff through the main story, like uh, like movie quests. They're gonna be they're not gonna be like just one MP, like one boss, like it is right now. They're gonna become more storylines. So like. For instance, uh, let me think. Once you, I think it's like, well, we we kind of scaled. I don't have it open right now, but we scaled the movie quests to right around where they would be. Um, you know, so basically, once you do a certain part of the store, the main story, you unlock a movie storyline, which will be its own like storyline you can go explore, and those will be great. Uh, those will be a great assist to, um, you know help you get a boost on the main story itself uh but moving back to like training and stuff there'll be training methods uh i think i mentioned let me find it here i had some stuff rolling down i want to make it less about just farming and punching obviously you still have to walk up like you won't just be give you won't just be able to run through the server without stopping and training and walking you know um so stuff like gravity training weights and the hyperbolic time chamber will be introduced and these will be better than whatever's currently present in Dragon Block. Uh, I already covered movie quests. I had this after. Um, I'm gonna. What else can I? You guys have any other questions about fur release? Like more about the content in fur release? Like some of the maybe some of the stuff that we currently have in beta. More uses for money? Yeah. Does anyone have more uses? We intend to add outfits and stuff. To like you know more cosmetic stuff as well as making armor and outfits have uses um so just to hopefully make money because we want to make this a rpg mmo or an open world rpg mmo so we want to we want to make it feel more like uh because at the moment uh, this you could tell the server like it's just stuff has been added on along the way at different quality levels and doesn't necessarily work all together um, so the thing, uh, uh, let me, let me show some stuff here. Okay. So, all right, cool. Sorry, I had to check some, um, I'm going to talk about stuff like GT. You guys might be wondering if GT, stuff like GT, I, someone asked me this like a couple months ago and my response to it or so let me explain something to you guys. Uh, all the 3D models we make, all the storyline we have Roden, Roten, not, don't worry about it. So all the storyline we write, all of that. Um, GT is not going to be released with the server. It'll be uh, what I call an expansion. And expansions, uh, I'm going to get this out of the way, they will be paid, but they're not permanently paid. You will be able to access them for free shortly after they release. Um, but the thing about that is the reason they're gonna be paid is to cover the fucking development costs because things cost money to create and uh you know development costs uh building costs money there's this g t is a pretty large storyline and we can't really reuse much of the z content or any other story content like builds or anything uh but trust me uh. If, you, if any of you guys know me, I'm not going to... It is always... I do not encourage any sort of pay-to-win. So something like an expansion, you'll be able to access it for a few weeks, and then it will be public for everyone. So you'll basically just get to access it earlier. Um, and there, it, it won't break the... Because you know everyone will get the same content right after it releases. Um, and this is still an idea that's in development, so don't take... Don't just take this and run with it and take that idea because I, I intend to work on this idea more and make it less aggressive. Uh, I guess you think it's aggressive. But I'm going to try and make it flush it out a little bit more uh, so that it feels, I don't know. Because I don't like inherently the idea of DLC. This just came up to cover the costs because if GT, for instance, as an expansion, there would be some other features that come with it you get early access to with that. But, um, um... If we weren't to make expansions paid, developing content like GT would probably never happen. Uh, just due to the fact... And GT's not going to be the only expansion. There's other 
ideas I have. But, and also just pointing out, uh, GT will not be, um, it won't be coming out for months after full release because, and, you know, the, this won't be the only, like, we're going to do, be doing free updates that everyone gets that you don't need to pay for. Everyone will get it. You know, like we, we've always done. I'm not going to drastically change. The updates will be more professional. Uh, they will be handled better and, you know, all that. Everything that comes with it. Um, but, uh, I think that's about it. Oh, no, some of the stuff currently in the beta, like DD positions, those uh, member ranks and other features that currently exist. Uh, DD positions are still being thought about. Because I don't want to just throw them into for release because they may not properly fit into what I envision for for release. However, I would love to carry them on. The only reason they may not is just because differences in, you know, in the server may cause them to not fit. But I'm, I'm still contemplating. I and if just so you guys know, if anything does get carried over to the for release, it like thing like features wise, they will be improved heavily. They're not just going to be left the exact same, and they'll be changed to fit with it. Uh, as for the beta testing period, so people who have beta tests are basically access to the showcase server, even though it's unavailable right now for you guys. Um, you will be able to, you know, beta test the fur release a few uh, weeks before it drops. Just... Uh, it, it won't be like a, it won't be like some type of Bethesda testing where you find all the bugs and fix them. We hope, maybe bugs we couldn't find, but we intend to have it be a full experience for that beta testing period. So, and expect like a few weeks, maybe two, three, I don't know. Um, and just about for the end of this fur release topic, because this has been a few minutes now. Um, I'm going to talk about the release period and when we expect it to come out. I just want you guys to know before I, um, before we get done with this, the release, right, the period for that, um, it, it can change. It, it's, it, since its conception, it has drastically changed. Uh, it, at one point, for release was intended to come out January 2019. And then July and November. And said at least it's not coming out in November. I don't think I need to uh, state that. Obviously not. I, I, as I stated earlier, beta is for the rest of 2019. If you, as for a date, um, probably quarter two of 2020, which, again, explaining quarters, that quarter would be April 1st all the way up until June 30th. That is a general release period, not date. I, we don't have a date. Um, you know, obviously we'll have plenty of notice before it's coming out that it's coming out. And uh, just for another thing, uh, T.O.P., uh, I intend to do a T.O.P. here soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm just giving you guys that uh, release period so that you guys know kind of when it's coming. I know... It has been a, um, it's been a long time. Some of you guys have known about Ferrari since late 2018. Um, it's been a long journey working on Ferrari. It's still heavily in development though, and that's why I'm that release period is subject to change. That is like six months out, even that release period or release period release. Yes, uh, just a, just a little notice of you guys. I'm graduating high school here in December early graduating I, i'm just stating that because i'm gonna have a whole lot more time after that to devote to the servers and all that um all right well we already covered custom forms i got i got a video to play for you guys uh little uh video covering the uh spook fest i've already shown you guys burning fear all of that uh but here's a video for that let me myself now
Okay, fellas, well, that was a uh, just yeah. You know, I already showed you guys burning fear earlier, but there it is again. Uh, once we are out of maintenance, uh, we will be allowing you guys to achieve burning fear or spooky foam, whichever one you want to call it. Its official name is burning fear. Uh, yeah, the video was pretty short. I was gonna add more to it about Spookfest. Uh, you know, Spookfest. There's a lot of texture changes. You got a cool little uh, hot bar here. Uh, I think I can show you guys the. I can actually show you guys the uh, farming area for Brownie Fear. I believe it's done. Yes, Brownie Fear. There's a few things we have to complete. The maintenance will probably be another hour or two. Um, Lloyd Slug is the first Brownie Fear boss. I believe we just chose random NPCs just to ghost go tanks. My skin's not loading. Ghost boo, spooky. Uh, there's also an hourly boss, so that type of stuff. Um, I think that's really about it for the press conference. I think I'm gonna go through some of the questions that I have on this document and answer them for you guys. So let me pull that up. There it is. Because a lot of these were already answered or intended to be answered. Uh, pretty much all the questions are about SC forms. So, you know, I, we kind of had an entire segment about what's changing with the custom forms. They're no longer SC forms. They're called them SC forms, so prefer to be called custom forms, but it's cool. Um, actually, not a lot of this is relevant here. <laughs> New clothes and weapons, possibly. Um, like, Minto Chio, like, you've asked it like seven times now? Just make a ticket. Uh, yeah, th there's going to be a TOP here soon. Probably, uh, I don't know. We're, we're gonna come up with a date where we are free to host that. <laughs> you guys. Um, already covered how long the storyline was. Oh, this one's cool. How <laughs> how much larger do you guys expect the player count is going to grow when Furlies comes out? We're gonna get like two more players. About it. Um, this is kind of the end of the stream. This is m most of the major info is out of the way. Um, uh, the server should be less laggy when you guys hop on. Because, yeah, you know, custom forms. Better now. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to give you guys some numbers. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some cool statistics that you guys may or may not have seen. I've posted them before, but this, you know, this is info I intend to make public eventually. So stuff like, um... The server's growth rate. September was our third biggest month in terms of users joining the Discord. Um, that's nice. And October's on track to become fourth, or maybe third. October's doing well. Uh, we're about to. We're gonna have seven thousand users in the Discord, but that's cool. You know, um, some of the stuff you guys already know. Thirty thousand. Brain hurt. It's cool though. But uh, you know, I'm trying to think of some things to mention. I know I'm kind of quiet right now. Let me see if there's anything I missed for you guys. Um. Put this back up on the screen. Uh, that's about it. Oh, I, I key blast. Oh, twenty twenty roadmap. I mean, there's not much to the twenty twenty roadmap. We intend to start. 
2020 off with the two year I said one year, two year anniversary server will be two years old January 1st that's cool uh, the event will start like mid January um that'd be cool and then we intend to kind of not do much with the uh there won't be much done event wise in quarter one beside the anniversary and obviously New Year's event right before the anniversary. Um, Valentine's Day might do something for that. We'll see. Uh, not many. Quarter one and two. Uh, I, I already said this, Doug. Quarter two is when we expect for a release. But however, that might... Uh, it could end up quarter three. I don't know. It really depends. Uh, you guys will know. You guys will definitely know a few months ahead when Far Release is coming out. The release date will be announced at minimum a month before, or two months, maybe. You know, to give everyone time to prepare and all that. So, that's kind of about it for the press conference. I got some stuff that I want to do, or that we need to do. Uh, are we going to get full movie plot quests? Yeah. I, I talked about this a little bit ago. Uh, movie quests will be, like, their own storylines now. So they'll have, like, their own couple quests, probably a dozen or so. Um, there'll be a couple hundred side quests. We intend to do a, um, intend to do a lot. Uh, this is going to be a 1.0. You know? It's going to be a lot of stuff. We intend to not have many bugs. We're going to do bug testing before the beta testing. So, you know, the people who paid to test, like, be beta testers, you get to just play early. It, you're not going to get... You're not our paid bug testers, is what I'm saying. Exclusive Apollo storyline? Well, we uh, this entire storyline is our own mix. Like, we kind of... Uh, I talked about this a while ago. Kind of race integration is one thing. There's, like, custom dialogue with characters, depending on what race you are. I think it's pretty small because we didn't really go too far into it, but you get, um, you know. So there'll be a more in-depth dialogue. Uh, basically, you still go with the main story. We didn't want to do a whole spin-off. We might do our own custom story down the line. Uh, I tend to, because, uh, you know... I want to make this big. I want to make this bigger than just. Is I want to make this feel like a game is one thing I've always wanted to do with Fur Release. Uh, you know, I want to make it feel more complete. It'll be easier to understand, not necessarily easier to play. Talk about this. Um, I want to make it more difficult for people. Uh, cause you know, I want it. I want it to be difficult, but still enjoyable. I don't want people to get bored because it's too difficult, but I still want it to be challenged. You know, because obviously. It's boring if you hop on, um, and, you know, you could just do, like, kill the same bosses. Bosses are still being thought of because I don't know if I want to, uh, do bosses or not. Because bosses are kind of, they inherently have that farming, like, criteria with them, you know? Uh, one thing I will mention, though, quests will all be, re you'll be able to repeat quests whenever you want. So the first time you do a quest, uh you'll get a large reward, but then the second time you do it, and any time after that, you get a smaller reward, but you can infinitely repeat it. So there's not a day cooldown. Um, the attack buff. Uh, I'll talk to Cosmic about maybe doing that, and get back to you guys here in a few weeks or whatever. Uh, there'll be another press conference, I don't know, probably December-ish. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the press conference. Thank you all for coming out. All 60, 70 of you, whatever it was. Uh, I love you all. Hope you guys enjoyed this press conference. Cosmic's a good developer. There's a lot of new content on the way with him. The server will be up in a couple hours. I don't know. Cosmic's name has a K in it, and I'll see Dialogue for Furleys. 
No, because it's all just on a document. That's boring to look at. Uh, you guys will be getting some more views of her. Uh, I don't want to just spoil for release for you guys, you know, because it's boring if you know everything about a game before you play it, right? It's spoiling the game. However, there will be like some stuff like, oh yeah, there's, there's going to be a trailer. There will be a couple trailers, probably two more. There will be one trailer right before its release, you know, like the final cinematic trailer. And there'll be one, um, kind of like probably January, if I had to guess, like in between now and the other trailer. What is your last question? Uh, server will be opening back up in a few hours. Uh, just check maintenance log. I'll be talking about it there. The quality intro is just a, it's a video, the video generating platform. If anyone, uh, sorry to like self-advertise here, but this is my, this is my Twitch, my personal Twitch. So if any of you guys want to follow, please do. I'd appreciate it. Thank you all for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed what I had to talk about and the info I gave you guys. There'll be a lot more info coming down the line for you guys. Uh, you know, some more custom stuff being mentioned in a few weeks. Um, there's a whole lot more coming because, uh, we have way higher standards now. Custom forms just got so much better. Um, I'd like to give a personal apology to anyone in the Dragon Block C community who has the, uh, who has the current quality of custom forms. I'm sorry I stole the only person who can make good custom forms in the community. And he makes better ones for me. My bad. Goodbye, though. I love you guys. See you in a few hours when the server's up.